Usually my budget when I go to the market to get fresh produce is $200. Yeah, that's two hundred TT dollars. So I usually come back with two market bags full with stuff, as I'm gonna show you. So let's get started. So guys, we're here at Trigona's market, and uh, it's not as busy as I anticipated. And things have changed a lot in terms of where the um, the the stalls were. They they removed a lot of stalls from the market, so it's less congested than before. So guys, I just got back from Shogunis Market. It's a hot Saturday morning and I really love going to the market. I haven't been to the market in a long time, maybe a couple of years if I may say so, because I used to work on Saturdays and well, now that I'm not anymore, um, I was able to do it. And then with the whole pandemic and so on, I didn't want to risk it last year, but um, this year it's actually, it, it was a big change, it was different. Um, the market wasn't as busy as I had anticipated because it is actually month end and usually during month end, you know, it's packed with people, but I guess people, you know, they're taking their precautions and so on. Everybody was wearing their masks, so I didn't see a problem with that. Social distancing was not so much because, I mean, obviously it's the market and people are shopping at, with vendors and so on. but. A lot of the stalls to the front of the market, I guess those were temporary stalls that people had um, occupied and so on, they're no more there. So there's a, a whole big corridor and it's, it's cleared so that to prevent overcrowding and so on. So I want to show you what I got. Usually my budget when I go to the market to get fresh produce is $200. Yeah, that's 200 TT dollars. So I usually come back with two market bags full with stuff, as I'm going to show you. And plus I got some jalebi and gulab jamun and cherry barfi. Yay! Yes, I bought cherry barfi instead of making it this time. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I have in my market bag. So I got a beautiful papaya, or popo, as we say in Trinidad, and this I paid $13 for, it went by weight, so. So the usual, we got some plastic bags that we're going to recycle, my um, jalebi came in one, and my papaya in another, so, you know, we're not going to destroy that, then I got the newspaper that wrapped up, 
gonna go just gonna go in the garbage though. So I got this lettuce for eight dollars. There are some place selling lettuce for ten dollars and they were not as huge. Look at the size of this. Just look at the size of this lettuce. I love it. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. When you see vegetables and stuff like this, it makes me so happy. When you see vegetables like this, it makes you feel to eat. And no, vegetarians don't only eat lettuce, okay? But this is just so beautiful. I mean, but whoever garden it came out from, they should be really proud. I mean, this is, this is just gorgeous, honestly. So I got these peppers as well. This was $5 for the bag and the lady selling it said that it's really hot because she was also selling scorpion pepper for five dollars a bag and you know scorpion pepper it's they it's got these little rough bumps on it these i don't know if you can see this but these also have those kind of bumps on it so i'm kind of scared to use this pepper as well but i still bought it they smell hot you know they have a hot smell but let's see when i'm cooking then we'll know <laughs> And so these were five dollars a bag, and I got all these potatoes here for it's three pounds for ten dollars. She had, initially the price was four dollars a pound, and then she dropped the price, so she gave me it three pounds for ten dollars. That's potato. And potatoes are really good because they keep or maintain a low glycemic level, so we need to to watch our sugar levels, right? Uh, look at this one. Nice. When you see beautiful vegetables like this, they just make you so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> so I got some morai or radish. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, they A lot of people put it in things like pepper sauce. Or you can make um, like pickles out of it. So I want to try and see if I can make some kimchi out of this vegetarian kimchi, which is very good. It's uh, probiotic and it's very good for your gut. So that's why I bought it. And um, I'm going to try to do something like that. It may not be kimchi at all. It might just turn out to be um, like chunky pepper sauce with morai or radish. And you know, I'll tell you one thing. In India, these are really, really sweet. It's the first time in my life I'm buying it. My dad used to love these in pepper sauce, hot sauce. So my mom used to buy it in those days, but I was a kid, so I never ate it because obviously it was in pepper sauce. So when I went to India, I had these, this was like used in salad a lot. This and carrots, they used in salad a lot, plus onions, you know, that that's how simple salad is in, in India. Now they're getting a little fancy, but Slices of morai or radish, um, you know, it was really sweet. I was amazed at how sweet it was because the local ones like these that we got, they were actually quite bitter in those days. You know, my father said it used to be a little spicy. So let's see how these go. So these were, I think, $9 a pound I paid for it. And so it just came up like this, over $10 because it was like a little over a pound. And then... I bought some cauliflower, not the best looking cauliflower. I think they were a bit expensive, $12 a pound. So these ones I got for $10. The other places they were um, $12. So we have some cauliflower. I might just do my cauliflower rice, ca cauliflower fried rice. And uh, these are some colorful sweet peppers that I got. They're not exactly bell peppers, they're more like sweet peppers. And these were $5 a pound. So I have like four and three, seven um, sweet peppers in there. Tomatoes, I got some small ones. These were like $5 a pound, which I thought was actually a pretty reasonable price. Because um, when I bought tomatoes last time before Christmas, they, they were much bigger and those were like $12 a pound. So this is the smaller size, which is pretty good to make choka, and you can check out my choka recipe on my channel. Um, and of course to use in my paneer recipes as well, because they make a nice base, you know, for food like that. So I have a lot of tomatoes, $5 a pound, these small ones. 
So that's one market bag down. We have another one to go. So guess how much I paid for this? It's uh, not too big avocado, that's the length of it. It's actually $15. They said it's ripe, but I ain't feeling it that ripe. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah, so $15 for this avocado. And it's, they say it's local, so I'm not sure. So I'm not sure how ripe this avocado is. It still feels a little firm to me. So I'm going to put it to ripe a little bit. And this is how we do this. We wrap it in newspaper. You can put it in a brown bag. And just leave it on your kitchen counter, right? This is one of my favorite bananas. Or as we say in Trinidad, fig. <laughs> this is silk fig if you haven't seen it before this is what it looks like it's absolutely delicious it's all local as well and i think i paid seven dollars a pound for these so these are so nice and these are what we call chiquito another very very sweet banana if they these are half ripe you can like boil them and peel them and then fry them back in some or saute them as we say in some onion and pepper and seasoning and stuff and it goes really well with sada roti my mom loves that so these are another delicious um bananas and no i didn't buy all this for myself i'm going to share with one of my friends who really loves bananas as well and as you know bananas are really good it's a good mood booster as well because it's high in potassium going through the pandemic you know we should be eating <laughs> quite a bit of this <laughs> to help us not be depressed or anxious and then I bought some imported ones as well. So who knows, maybe I might make some banana bread during the week as well. I also bought a fully ripe pineapple and I love pineapple. What I tend, I made the lady break off the top here, right? Because it was filling up my market bag. But what I really like to do with pineapple, because I can't eat this whole thing, I would usually peel it and cut it up and like I would eat whatever I needed to eat that particular day. And then I'd put the rest in Ziploc bag and freeze it. So if I need to make a smoothie or something, you know, it's readily available. So, and it smells, it smells so good. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> I love to smell ripe fruit, especially, you know, if you have it in the house and it's, it's so fragrant, the whole house tends to smell. Ah, just love it. <laughs> How could you not be vegetarian with food like this? <sighs> And I bought some corn, my favorite, well, one of my favorites. And you can check out my curry corn recipe. Um, I told you my nephew, he loves curry corn. And recently he asked me for that again. So I decided to pick up some. And these are really fresh and nice. You can check it out. I paid $20 a bag for these. Uh, the pineapple was actually, um, I think, $7 a pound, I believe. And then I bought just three purple onions. Sometimes they come in handy in salad. And I paid $5 for this bag. And I bought cucumbers, they were four dollars a pound. So that's my market haul. Two market bags down <laughs> and uh, two hundred dollars I think well spent. A lot of fruits and vegetables is what we need to incorporate in our diets. If we do that, we're going to, we're going to be on the right road to good nutrition and good health. And by the way, uh, you don't know how many of you know, and I'm saying this for my foreign viewers, um, Pineapple is locally grown in Trinidad and we actually made it on Sesame Street. Yeah, our pineapple growers, they made it on Sesame Street. So you can probably look for that video on how they grow pineapple in Trinidad. Just wanted to add that in. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for checking me out on my market haul, uh, fresh fruits and veggies. This is 2021. And of course, we have to eat healthy. We have to keep looking after our health. Our health is our wealth, we can't stress that enough. And of course, being the pandemic, and so we have to take care of our immune system. We have to keep it well boosted to fight off any infections. And also, I just want to remind you, um, you know, if you're going out to places like the market, and so make sure that you observe all the COVID protocols, make sure you wear your mask. And of course, when you're done and you leave, make sure you sanitize your hands, don't touch your face, all that stuff. Right, so thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for chilling with H today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. I feel so happy when I go to the market. I don't know about you guys, but it's like heaven for vegetarians in a sense. <laughs>
I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.